Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Wind Waker, and holy shit, Jizz's face is literally like rubbing his face against this rock. Against solid rock. I, I, just to, just to rub his jizz on me. G get away. Gross. No. So, now that our biggest obstacle is out of the way, Watchtower, Forest of Fairies. Well, we're gonna go to the Forest of Fairies. And don't even bother trying to come here without a sword because there's going to be a big row of trees that you can't cut through without your sword. Don't know who decided to plant trees here, but there you go. No entry! Forest paths are closed until suspension bridge repairs are complete. Well, the bridge seems pretty okay to me. Yeah, grass, you know, has rupees and shit in it. Or not. I'm fine with that. Then we climb this big ass hill, and we have to cross a bridge. Later on, this bridge will be out. But oh, oh, I see what's wrong with it. Well, I guess that's pretty reasonable. If you just got a big chunk of bridge missing, might not want people to go on it. Hope this bridge doesn't break. Yeah, I don't think you could break it. I'm pretty sure you can. Later on, in a certain dungeon, I think there's a bridge you can break. But Oh, what, we don't get a cutscene for getting a green rupee? Wow, thanks. In Twilight Princess and Skyward, so Skyward Sword, you literally get, like, a cutscene every time you get some sort of colored rupee, besides green. I think it's a little better in Skyward Sword. Um, maybe, I don't know. But I know in Twilight Princess, literally, every time you start up, like, uh, the game after t turning it off, you'll get another cutscene. Every time you get, like, a blue rupee or a red rupee. It's quite annoying. But I think it's worse with the spoils. Skyward Sword is absolutely awful with the spoils. Or whatever you call them. The things that enemies drop. We just killed our first enemy. Isn't that exciting? That was pretty exciting. It was a tough battle. This... Remember this. We'll come back later when we have bombs for a certain upgrade. And I think we're about to get into a pretty big fight. <laughs> get used to hearing that noise because you'll be hearing it quite a lot. So combat in this game is pretty easy. These guys are pretty basic. We'll be seeing a lot more of them later on. They're pretty easy. You, you can't lose to them. That was a pretty good animation of a branch breaking. Ouch! Wow, what's with that get up? Well, whatever. So where am I? Oh, that's right. That giant bird came and... Oh. Miss! Miss Tetra! Oh, oh, thank. Thank goodness you're safe. When I saw you get dropped on this summit, I thought for sure you'd... Summit? So that bird dropped me on the top of a mountain? Wasn't that nice of it. Well, don't just stand there. Let's go. Time to repay our debt to that bird in full. But miss, what about this boy? Don't worry about him, come on. Hoy, big brother! Isn't this a happy moment? Wouldn't it suck if a bird just like came by and kidnapped his sister? That'd be terrible. Man, I really should stop jinxing myself.
Stupid kid. Get a hold of yourself. She's gone. There's nothing you can do. What? You want to come with us on our ship? Do you understand what you're asking? We're pirates, you know, pirates, the terror of the seas. What do we get out of bringing some helpless little kid along with us? I'll tell you what we get, a headache. I know how you must feel with your sister having been kidnapped and all, but that doesn't really have anything to do with us now, does it? And how do you figure that? Whoa, whoa, whoa there, just who are you? What do you get off butting it? Where do you get off butting in on someone else's conversation? Please, all I mean to say is that if you big bad pirates hadn't come to this quiet little island, that poor little girl wouldn't have been snatched away by that bird. And just what do you mean by that? Just be quiet for a moment and I'll tell you. Now, as my work entails delivering letters, I spend much of my time traveling amongst the many different islands. As a result, I hear many things. Haven't any of you heard word that young girls have been getting kidnapped lately from all regions of the Great Sea? No matter. Whether you've heard it or not, that seems to be the case. Young girls with long ears like yours have been getting kidnapped, never to be seen again. And unless my eyes fail me, the young girl who was just kidnapped from this island also had long ears, does she not? Much like you do, Miss Fearsome Pirate. My point is that the bird mistook that poor girl for you, and that's why it grabbed her. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it's young Kevin here who saved you from the monsters in the forest, wasn't it? Is this true? Oh, and while I'm at it, I may as well tell you that the bird that kidnapped both you and Kevin's sister has made it its foul nest to the north, on the heights of the Forsaken Fortress. The Forsaken Fortress? Isn't that the place where... So, what are you going to do? Under the circumstances, I don't think it would be unreasonable for you to give Kevin a little help, now would it? Would it? <clears throat> I don't need you to tell me that. Even if I were to consider it, lately I've been- I've heard nothing but evil rumors about this Forsaken Fortress. You can't possibly mean to go there with nothing but that cheap little sword. That's not brave, it's stupid. I mean, come on, even a simple little island like this must have something you could use as a shield. You know, something to protect yourself with, anything. Tell you what, if you come back with something like that, we'll let you stow away on our ship. Oh, and one more thing, once we leave, you won't be coming back here for a while, so you'd better go say goodbye to your family while you're- well, bleh, while you have the chance. I don't want you getting all weepy-eyed and homesick on me. Well, what a bitch. It's my birthday. Sorry about that minor disruption, but this does give me a chance to show you the uh, pause menu. These are all your items. You can set it to different buttons, uh, set your items to different buttons, and got all your Collectibles and important quest items on that one and you can save which I haven't done yet So I should probably do that And that's really all it's very simple very simple uh, pause menu in this game um, And now we're off to see our grandma. I almost forgot what I was doing Because if you remember she had that shield hanging up on the wall, so hopefully we can grab that but We're not even gonna say anything to our grandma grandma about any of this I'm just gonna go after the shield of course but it's not here what did that bitch do with it Kevin is this what you're looking for Take it with you. You got the hero shield. Hold R to defend yourself. You can also hold R to defend while L targeting. I guess it is true. Aurel really has been kidnapped, hasn't she? What kind of monster could take such a sweet young child? Aw, oh, poor grandma. I won't kill her. Ooh. 
We should do something nice for her to make her feel better. Like steal her life savings. So if you press R, you can kind of crawl. And we're going to crawl under this little gap. And if you turn over here, you can actually find a little secret passageway that leads under Grandma's house. And inside is a chest with a shitload of rupees in it. And this will be very useful because we need to buy something that's fairly expensive uh, pretty soon. Orange rupee, which is 100 rupees. So we already have enough to cover our $80 sale. But there are also some other things we could spend money on. Uh, yeah, I'm probably going to try and finish up any little errands that I have to run before I go off on my uh, quest to save a reel. I believe it's a reel. I don't even really know how to pronounce her name, so feel free to correct me. Well, for starters, you could, uh, you could grab these pigs and, oh, yep, this could be a pain. You're really supposed to crawl up behind them, but I could, I just sometimes run up to them and pick them up. The only thing is if you roll, you're gonna mess yourself up, so you have to stop before you get them. Yeah, like that. Okay. And I think there's two or I think there's probably three pigs that I have to get and if you come back later they'll be all grown up and this is also another excellent way to earn money if you talk to this lady she'll give you a red rupee and so we may, may very well fill up our wallet or almost fill up our wallet uh, before we even leave this island I think there's another pig uh, yeah, over here. A black pig. Come here, black pig. This is much more fun than crawling up behind them. Trap him. Oh, you got away. Oh. You're cornered, pig. Oh, that's not a good idea. Well, if you could just chase the pig into the water, it suddenly becomes a lot easier to catch them. Pro tip. But actually, if you talk to that uh, that guy over there, um, I think early on, before we do all earlier on, before we do all this, uh, he's kind of sitting there, crawling around in the grass, trying to catch a pig. Because I guess this fat bitch is his wife. She is so hideous. I'm sorry. Uh, and it'll tell you how you can crawl by pressing the R button and moving around. But I think you have to have your uh, your shield away yeah you can't crawl without your sh your uh, with your shield out yeah the controls are a little different in this game uh, they, they shake things up a bit since I think Majora's Mask was the game before this bunch of new stuff and I think they changed like how the blocks uh, how you move blocks around and little things like that I think there's another pig maybe or maybe not I don't know I may just be stupid. There's this guy. Oh, nope, there's another pig. Let's grab this one. Yeah, you're really supposed to crawl up behind them, but I say, screw that. And the reason we're doing all this now is because we can get a heart piece later, and, uh... Yeah, I think that's it. We get a heartbeat, but we could also get, like, 60 rupees. She gives you 20 rupees per pig. Plus the 100 rupees you find beneath your mother's house. Grandmother's house. And right there, that's a lot of money. So, another 20 rupees. I think we could also cut up those trees buy our grandma's house and possibly get some money for that. Yeah, there's a yellow rupee in there, which is worth another 10. So yeah, I think this wallet holds about 200 rupees. So we don't want to go overboard, and we're probably going to want to spend some of that because we're going to find more in the Forsaken Fortress. So let's spend some money here in Beetles. Beetle, I think... He, I, I'm not sure if he's a new character in this game, or he might appear in one other game. I'm not entirely sure. But either way, 
he is a pretty awesome character. So, we're going to start off by buying a bait bag. Very important, because we need to carry bait. I don't think it's a quest essential. Like, actually it is. No, it is. Because you need to get one of the Triforce maps or something. But that's really far off. So, you don't really need to buy this right now if you don't have the money. But, I'm just doing it so I don't end up uh, having so much money when I get into Forsaken Fortress that I won't be able to get anymore. So, I'm just going to buy a bunch of bait, really. You get three servings per uh, ten rupees, and it's good to have as much of this as you can, as you can, because you want to try to map out every single island, which is what I'm gonna try and do. And I'll buy maybe one or two of these. These aren't that important, but you do need them for a few heart pieces and such. And like I said, one Triforce chart or something in that whole quest. I'm not sure how much more space we have, but I'll just buy maybe one more of these, and if I have any more room, I'll buy more bait. Let's see, I think we're out of room. Yep. And you can get a special uh, membership thing if you buy a lot of stuff, but I think the silver one, you don't really get anything. I don't know if I've ever bothered to buy enough stuff from Beetle to get any sort of membership. Um... What else? I don't think there's really much else to do here. So I guess we're going to be off. So say goodbye to Outset for a while. Wow, that's a decrepit old shield. Are you sure you can still use that thing? Are you going to get splinters and cry? Well, whatever. If you're ready, then let's go. Are you ready? You better believe we are. Good luck, Kevin. Good luck finding a real. Yeah, I really want to see that. How much longer is this going to go on, do you think? Do you have an estimate? Are you sure you shouldn't just quit right now? Seriously, think about it. I can tell you're just going to get more sentimental from here on out. There's still time, you know. Are you sure we shouldn't just turn around and take you back to your island? Poor Link's grandma. She lost, like, both of her little kids in one day. On Link's birthday, no less. This is a terrible day. But anywho, I am Shadow Productions, and in the next episode, we'll get to Forsaken Fortress and go on from there. So, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.